every single day. You know, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, Lily had mentioned, yeah, mentioned it, but uh, yeah, as I said, there was a lot of unresolved things. The 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 album that they came out with on E One, they recorded the switches. Um, They'll never be. Was that? There never be, and we redid um, the Pat Bell, If only you knew. Mm, yeah, yes, 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 yeah. But uh, um, at the time, we were working with Missy um, Protege. At the time, his name was Lamb. Lamb has produced for everybody from Beyonce to Jasmine Sullivan to everybody. And, and I wanted him and I found him. I found him and he worked with us for nearly nothing. And then I went to Carver and Ivan from Philadelphia who discovered Music Soul Child. Wow. And I had Gene, Gene Baylor from a group called John A. Remember John A from the 90s? Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. He wrote a song um, for us with Carver and Ivan. Brian Cox was on the album. Um, some young, some other young um, writers up there, but that was one of our. Um, that was a great album, and um, they all split leads on that. They all, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, 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 um, I posted the, the clip of them singing "You um uh, of uh, You Never Be," and Missy didn't realize. She said that was her favorite song. She then she retweeted it for, um, that she didn't realize that they all that that's, they recorded that. And um, oh, yeah, you should tell her. I didn't tell you this. I'm sorry, I mean to cut you off. Me and Missy used to sing the gospel group together. What <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> yes, Missy Elliott. We used to sing in the gospel group. I've been knowing Missy for a long time. Um, that was one thing. I went to school with Magoo, they called he was number Timbal and Magoo. Oh, you're from so, VA with those guys. Yeah, okay, yeah. we were class together. Um Timblin and Pharrell grew up in the same church. What? So I've been knowing them since I was a, a kid, you know, uh, 17, 18 years old, you know. So they grew up in the same church in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Oh. Um, Dal- Dalvin and Devante yeah. from Jodeci. Mm. Their father, they Virginia. Their father was one of the baddest musical directors in Hampton, Virginia, which is about 20 minutes away from me. So mm. they grew up in the church. Mm. Their last was great. Mm. Yeah. So Devontae was named, I don't think that, I, I forgot Devontae's first name, but he was named after his father. His father was that guy. Mm. So I've been knowing him all my life. As a matter of fact, Missy came to church with church with me one year and my pastor i told my pastor i was bringing somebody i never told him who it was and i told him the whole seats and they kept holding the seats and we wasn't there so they kept calling me is you coming for real who you bringing i wouldn't tell them man i walked in there with missy everybody heads just dropped it was crazy <laughs> it was crazy yeah wow okay yes yeah, she, she didn't realize that uh that that they they, they did the remake of the song and then Somebody then said E1 didn't push the album. And didn't push the album. E1 is a label that pushed one single, mm. one video. They think about recoup, they, recouping their money. If they feel like they can't get their money back, they pretty much is, they're going to back off. A lot of artists from the 90s, Went to that label. Yeah, after seven, I spoke yeah. with them. They said the same thing that yeah, the E one. Key Sweat, I believe one twelve was over there. Um, mm, yeah, there yeah, was so yeah. Many, um, that was there, so many artists that was over there. You know, <laughs> and um, had they pushed, we had a, we had some great songs up there. It's some great, great songs. Um, yeah, it was some great songs, definitely. Wow. Yeah. So when the album doesn't do doesn't get pushed and do well. How, what kind of pressure is that on you as the manager? Oh, it's a lot of pressure. Um, as a matter of fact, that was one reason that I pushed for the reality show. Oh, Another man. thing they gave a big push as well, Chris Brown did a song called, um, what was it called? Uh, what was that? She Ain't You. Remember that song? He sampled... Michael Jackson, she ain't you. Um, the the human nature. Okay. That, that, that did. So 
um, because of the remix, the human nature part in it, I reached out to Chris Brown's manager at the time and asked about doing a remix for SWV. Wow. They were very slow. He told me she was going to get back with me. She was very, very slow. So after a while, what I did was we brought the song to the studio. I had an engineer and the label. The label paid for SWV to go in. Um, keep Coco, I mean, keep Chris Brown vocals on it and take the female vocals off in the background and add SWV. So we released that online and sent it to radio. Radio played that more than Chris Brown original version. <laughs> it, it, it just took off. It Coco killed that. It took a life of, of his own. And when I, I saw Chris Brown at the at the at that time, he was going through Rihanna, uh, so I got he really was in the headspace to do a lot of features. Mm. You know, matter of fact, I talked to him. I saw him at the BT Awards, and we talked backstage. And he apologized. He said, you know, he just wasn't really in the headspace to do that. He was a big fan of SWV. But can you imagine if he would have got on that remix? If they would have pushed it, yeah, that would that was it was it was um bad. It was really bad. I mean, bad in a good way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, well, that was that was genius. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of the Half Time Chat community. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Um, but most importantly, why don't you consider being a member as a way of supporting the channel? but also getting a lot of videos ahead of time, a lot of behind the scenes stuff and some exclusive content that doesn't get shared. But anyway, thanks for watching and thanks for being part of Halftime Chat.